So I'm getting ready to go pick up my first load in my truck. And so I figured, what am I gonna do? So I just have this basic hitch right here. Uh, it's adjustable at least, but uh, I'm gonna get a different kind of hitch, which is the, I think it's called way safe or something like that. Um, but along with that, I figured I would get something else, which is this little guy right here. And apparently the Ford F-350, uh, mine at least, is compatible with this so we're gonna get inside and kind of see how we can set this up and what kind of benefits it's gonna give us apparently you're supposed to be able to uh, just using the app you can tell your tongue weight payload capacity pin weight trailer brake gain weight distribution payload etc etc so I'm gonna see what that looks like and I'm gonna use that in conjunction with the actual scale that's gonna be on the hitch that I'm getting. So I'm getting one of those hitches that has the little uh, scale on there so you can see what your tongue weight is. Um, so anybody that tows knows that tongue weight is kind of a big deal because it determines whether your trailer is gonna be weaving and bobbing behind you or if you're gonna have a nice safe ride and a good towing experience. So. Uh, so you want to make sure that it's 60-40 split. I believe it's what it is. So if you've got an axle on or you've got an axle on your trailer, you want 60% of the weight to be in front of the axle and 40 kind of uh, behind the axle. And if you've got a tandem, uh, same kind of thing, 60% in front of the uh, forward of the axle, the most forward axle, and 40% behind. I know some people also try to balance it out where it's between the two tires but ideally it's the 60-40 split according to the professionals. So um, we're gonna set this up today and kind of see how that works out. Um, I've downloaded the application onto my phone, which I have in my pocket. And uh, I'm just gonna go through the instructions and kind of figure out what you're supposed to do at that point. So um, this is the application right here. I just downloaded it and it comes up with a couple of prompts you gotta accept notifications and that kind of thing but now that it's all done it's asking me to turn on the engine and plug in my better way so this little system just has an obd2 port connector and uh, we're just going to plug that in so i'll open this up and plug it in so this works on android and iphone so if you've got any two of those major branded cell phones this will work just fine all right so it's just look just this little guy right here and i'm going to plug that in i've never accessed the obd2 on this truck here but i think it's just let's see if we can get you guys down here So the OBD2 should be down here and it's a D shape so the bigger part of the D is at the top and the smaller one is at the bottom so just plug this guy in like that all right and then the next step is to start it up okay so we'll go ahead and start the truck up and that's the million beeps that you get in this truck. It's probably one of the less desirable things about this truck. Okay, so I've got about 4,783 miles in this truck right now. So doing pretty good, 227 miles to empty. And you can see my def is at the very low, end, well, in that last section right there. So I'm trying to drive it until the very end to see exactly how far I'm able to get on that. So um, what are we at? 4,783 and going strong. So let's follow the rest of the instructions on this application. Um, better safe. Make sure you guys don't have a bunch of shadows. Okay, so it's searching for it and it's found it. And it wants the VIN number for my vehicle and I'm supposed to enter it, no? Okay. All right, so I need to enter my VIN number here, which I'm gonna do as soon as I can track it down, hold on. 
All right, so I've entered my VIN number and it's doing another little search. It says place vehicle on level ground front to back, shift into neutral and release the brake. If the vehicle rolls, it's not level. When level, shift into park, turn the engine off. So it looks like I'm gonna have to try to drive somewhere where the ground is flat. So let's do that here. Uh, my brake is on. All right, put it into neutral, see if it rolls. All right, it's not rolling. So I'm gonna go back to that application and set level. And it wants to connect again. So my phone went to sleep, so it looks like I have to do this again here. Okay, I entered my VIN number, and this time I'm on uh, flat ground, and I've done all that, and it's in neutral, it didn't roll, so I'm going to shift it into park. All right. And then I'm going to hit set level. Okay, so it says I'm all set, better set is, or better way is already calibrated to work with this vehicle. All features are ready to use. Note, if your vehicle has been modified from stock, please check the better way user guide and settings. Certain modifications, e.g. tire size change, may affect, ex may affect existing calibrations. Okay, so this is completely stock, no modifications, so I'm going to hit OK. All right, so the application is completely set up now, and you can go to tongue weight, and it wants you to position the vehicle so the coupler is over the ball, but we don't have that, so we'll just back out of that. Let's look at the payload. I'm empty right now. I just have maybe a couple of mats in the back, which shouldn't weigh very much. So payload unloaded, turn the engine off, then tap ready. So, um, okay. Weight distribution, trailer brake gain, more coming soon. Okay, so that's it, guys. Pretty easy setup right there. I think I'm going to have to be unloaded when I do any of these and kind of get an idea. So I'll, I'll keep working on this. Every time I get a uh, an item to load in the truck bed or something like that, I'll check the scale and see if uh, this changes or if it changes by how much I think my load is. So that's it for right now.